Hey guys, today we are making a dragon eye. Uh, here's two of the eyes I've made before. You can see them a bit closer in pictures on Etsy at Rachel's Rocks, Rocks Canada. Um, pick out whatever shape rock you think suits a good eye. You need a compass, which you can find uh, pretty much anywhere that sells school supplies. If you see a bend in any of my paint brushes, it's just because they've been sitting in my glass too long. Um, there's nothing special about them. All right, you're gonna need black and gold acrylic paint, of course, always with my rocks. And pick all your greens. I need a light greens, dark greens, and a metallic green, a dark metallic green. I'm using, um, it's called Emerald. I'm also using pewter, and that's gonna be for the scales. And you'll need white acrylic paint to make the uh, eye come alive in the end. So make a spot where you want to use your compass to make a circle. They're not easy to use on rocks. Um, your circle doesn't have to be perfect, because uh, it's not gonna be in a perfect circle shape once we're done anyway. But it's always nice to start with that circle. It really helps. Now we're gonna use the white acrylic paint and fill that circle in because we want the, the color of the eyeball to really pop. And on a gray rock, it'll just look really dull. So I'm gonna put two coats of the acrylic white paint. Let each coat dry. Now I'm gonna use like any kind of brush that's kind of bristly at the end so that I can use it as a blending brush. And take your lightest color green down the center and blend it out as much as you possibly can. If you have to wipe some of the paint off the paintbrush, um, that's what I do. I, I use like a, it's actually my son's old um, baby blankets that I use to wipe my paintbrushes off. Um, I use a little bit of white again in the center just to lighten it as much as I possibly can in the center. You can also use yellow. Now go in with, uh, I'm using like a neon green for the next, the next shade of green. You always start with light in the center and move your way out to a darker color. I'm going in with another green color. Uh, I believe it's called Shamrock um, from Apple Barrel. It's just a bright green, um, but it is a little bit darker than the other shades that I used, so it really stands out. I've just blended all the three colors in together the best I could. It's best to do that when it's still a little bit wet. Uh, you got to move fast with acrylic paint, unfortunately. Now we're going to go in with the dark metallic green and a fine lining brush, my bendy one. Works for now. I'm going to need a new one soon, I think. Just do the outer ring in that uh, dark metallic color. And then we're gonna take a small blending brush. Sounds like I'm doing makeup. And you're gonna blend that metallic into the other green that you placed on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the colors that I used, but just go from a light color to a dark color and then make sure you use metallic on the outside. It just makes it seem a little bit more realistic. Now I'm gonna take that dark emerald metallic color again 
and put another line around it because we smudged in the first line. Um, it's not as it's not as noticeable. It's not as dark anymore. So we're just going to line it again with that color. It's starting to look like an eyeball. Now we're going to take our pencil once it's dry, of course, and we're going to draw on the pupil. You can do this in whatever shape you want to do it in. If you don't want to do it as thick as mine, uh, you can make it more like a crocodile eye. Uh, it's completely up to you. That's, that's where you put your own creativity into it. Here we go. Now we're going to use the dark metallic green again. And we're going to put in some details in the actual eyeball itself. We're going to make some veins, I like to call them. And just do it very lightly. Make sure there's not too much paint on your paintbrush. Now we're going to use the pencil to draw the shape of the eye, just so you know where you want your black paint to be. And now I'm going to uh, give him a nice eyebrow. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to paint the whole thing black now. go. Now back to, uh, we're going to line the eyes now. Get these, this eyeball finished so that we can work on the scales. I always use my gold, so I'm going to outline everything in gold. I'm going to use this blending brush and I'm just going to fill in um, beside the where it's all gray still in the rock. I'm going to fill that all in with black paint. And then I'm going to use some of the pewter paint um, to just put a little bit of shading in there. Uh, you can paint that white and then do red veins to make it look bloodshot. Uh, you can do it gold in there. You can do whatever you want in that part. I just decided to do it gray. I want to thank all of my subscribers. I'm so excited that you guys are interested in learning from me. It makes me very excited. Um, I hope you're able to do these dragon eyes. There's uh, lots of stuff I'll be posting, but it takes me a long time to make a tutorial. All right, we're going to put some shading in there so that it looks like there's a bit of a shadow uh, on the eyeball. Use a small blending brush with not very much paint on it and just blend um, lightly black paint right up there like a shadow and then we're going to take the black paint and the fine lining brush and just line that gold again just define the eyelid where you just shaded it because chances are you're going to get some of the black onto the gold there we go now draw your scales on the way you want them with pencil. And then 
back to the gold. You can also use silver. I'm going to use pewter and a blending brush. Uh, and I'm going to just blend in pewter colored paint just in the centers of all my scales and blend it out. Not quite to the edges. I still want to see some of the black. So if you're doing a blue dragon eye, um, use a lighter colored blue in the center of all your scales like I did with my gray. Now that I've done all my scales, I'm going to outline them in gold. Nothing's perfect. You do whatever you want with those scales. Like, just, just see what I'm doing and, and be creative. Uh, like I said in my other tutorial, I love gold, so you'll probably see a lot of gold. Now we're going to put some uh, definition in the eyeball. Make it come alive with that white shine that's there. Make sure your white isn't thick. Uh, make sure it's freshly shook out of the bottle because or else it's not going to do what you want it to here. You got to kind of be able to drag the white over in a blob. I like to put it in three different spots. Like, like I said, you do what you want to do. It just makes it look really shiny and brings it alive. There. It's, uh almost ready to be sprayed. I'm just going to outline the scales again where the gold is. Uh, it just makes the scales kind of separate from the other scales when you outline it in all black. So that's what I've done here. We're going to bring it down to my basement. Use my triple thick again, triple thick Krylon. 